All right, these three problems are on the calculator section, but they're actually um, not really doable with the TI-84, so we're going to have to do them by hand. So we're going to start with this problem is an implicitly defined function because it doesn't have an easy y equals. They're asking us to find the slope of the tangent line at the given point. So we need to implicitly differentiate. And to do that, we start with 8x, and then we need the product rule on the 2xy. So we have 2x dy dx plus 2y, and then you would have a dx dx, but you don't need that because that's just 1, plus 3 dy dx, and that's going to equal 0 because the 9 differentiates to 0. So now what I have to do is put all of my terms with dy dx on one side of the equation. So I'm going to have a 2x plus 3, because I'm factoring out the dy dx. And then on the right side of the equation, I will have a negative, x, a negative 8x, excuse me, minus 2y, just trying to squeeze it in there. And then solving for dy dx, I get negative 8x minus 2y, all divided by 2x plus 3. And now I'm going to have to sub in the given point. So to do that, I plug in x equals 2 and y equals negative 1. And I get negative and that gives us negative 14 over 7, which is negative 2, and the answer is D. All right, for the next one, you're going to have to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. Remember, the conjugate is going to be the square root of x plus 3 plus 2 in the numerator, and again, multiply that in the denominator as well, so it's really multiplying by a fancy form of 1. And when you do this, you are not going to multiply out the denominator. You're going to leave the 1 minus x times the square root of x plus 3, and outside the square root you have a plus 2. And then in your numerator, you are going to FOIL, so the square roots of x plus 3 multiply together to just get a plain x plus 3. Then I'm going to have negative 2 square root of x plus 3, and positive 2 square root of x plus 3, and those will cancel. And then last, I have negative 2 times 2. And the nice thing is that what that gives me in my numerator is really x minus 1, which almost cancels with 1 minus x, but I can rewrite this as a negative of 1 minus x by factoring out that negative sign. So now these cancel. And I'm left with negative 1 divided by the square root of x plus 3 plus 2. So I'm going to plug in a 1 into my x value, which gives me the square root of 1 plus 3, which is square root of 4, plus 2. And negative 1 over 2 plus 2 is negative 1 fourth. So my answer is b. And then the last problem on this page, the best way to handle this is to recognize this as the definition of the derivative. So you are differentiating um, e to the x, where x equals a. And the derivative of e to the x is itself such that x equals a. So you're going to get your answer of e to the a. There will always be a problem like this on the AP exam, and you just have to recognize it, like I said, as the definition of the derivative.